a long time ago, eons before the world we know today. Before civilization, there were two beings, two brothers. They roamed this world discovering all it had to offer, gaining knowledge and power no mortal man could imagine. Centuries passed and these two brothers grew stronger. One day, these two brothers came across something, something new, a new being, but these beings were different to animals of the day and the monsters of the night. These beings were similar to them, but mortal. The brothers studied them for two decades until these new beings discovered something new. Well, two new things, two portals to new dimensions. The brothers decided they would split up and explore these new dimensions. So they did. Hey what's up you guys, it's Fortune and welcome back to another episode of Another Blocks and today we are going to be firstly meeting up with Toby for a little collab and a new shop so let's get into that. Forge! Hello there sir. Hello. Hi, I have an idea. <laughs> what is your idea sir? My idea is to build a new shop, right? Really? A new shop? Yeah, but look at this, look at this, alright? Look at okay. this. Okay, wait, have you got resources? Alright, listen, listen, I... I... Are you ready? Sitting here in anticipation. So you know like garage sales, right? Yes, garage sales. Yeah, exactly. What if we open a shop where you pay a diamond, right? Or any, like, it doesn't it doesn't need to be one diamond. It could be mo multiple diamonds, right? Okay. So we open a shop where you pay a diamond and you get a random sugar box with random stuff in it. This is mostly to like clean out my inventory, but also because I thought it would do for a cool shop. Yeah, it could be cool. I already have a system that can do that. Nice. This is why we ask Forge to do stuff for us. I mean, with us. For. This is why <laughs> I'm the CEO of EA. Hmm. Co-CEO. CEO. What am I then? Just it's an employee? It's like you have like a 49% shares and I have like 51. Oh. So I just, just trump you, you know? You just, you, you're also, there's just some that much better. for you. Yeah, I'm oh, yeah, I noticed. Better. All right, guys, so we have built our trash can. I think you'd call it a trash can, wouldn't you call it a trash can? Not I a trash I can. I don't know what it's called. What are these things Recycling called? Recycling bin? Something Recycling like that? Recycling bin. That's what we're going to call it. It's where we're, where we're going to recycle our items for diamonds. I mean, it looks it looks like garbage, you know? It does. It literally <laughs> looks like garbage. So, this is where we are at right now. We have now made our trash can. Yeah, we scrapped the redstone idea and just went for jug bins. So, we've uh, just dumped a bunch of uh, random stuff in here and everything in here is a diamond including Toby's head. Including my head, yeah. Somewhere in, in these barrels is like is my head. We here? also have my favorite thing over here which is a free haircut. Free haircut um, you pay a diamond for. You pay, you pay a diamond for a free haircut. I mean, makes sense, right? Makes sense. Uh, we have a lot of fun stuff in we here. Do. We have a We have a bunch of stuff. So I think we did good and I think uh, this might be our most profitable business. So the only thing I think we really can do now is to like do some decorating around the like the tower. Yes, I agree. But I do think... we want to do this by ourselves? I'm going to go with no because we are very lazy people in case nobody we are. knew that. And uh, there's this little thing over here that we might find helpful from a very, very good and uh, talented landscaper. So we've come to the poorest man on the server, self-proclaimed poorest man on the server. So we're gonna, it's 64 diamonds uh, for a IOU from uh, Mr. Greyfox here. So we're gonna both chip in 32 diamonds. I know this is gonna be painful for Toby's bank account. <coughs> it hurts. It, it hurts so hard. But um, I think this is a good investment. Okay, guys, so I was just heading over to my base and I noticed this when I was flying in. And I think this was from Mighty High. Oh, wow, that's that's uh, that's good, Mighty. I like <laughs> oh, That's quite funny. Well, um, that's going to have to stay for a while. But I did come over here for a reason and I'm going to get back to that reason now. But that's that's quite funny. But yeah, I do love this project here and I love the villagers and stuff. But now that I've actually started trading with them, it's been kind of a pain. 
uh, to like be trading with them, looking around for all each individual villager for each book. So I think I do actually want to get an actual trading hall to store my actual useful villagers. And then this village will just become for like random villagers. So we'll change out some of the workstations around here and stuff. I'm going to be building a... Well, you may have noticed this beacon beam just over here randomly. I'm going to be building a trading hall just under here. So it's all the way down here. I started digging it out already because I had a bit of time the other day. But yeah, uh, this is where my new trading hall is going to be. And it's going to be the... I can't remember whose design it was. I'll probably let you know in the next clip because I will have to look it up anyway. This is kind of where my new trading hall is going to be. And it's going to be absolutely huge. Uh, but I'm looking forward to kind of building it, to be honest with you. So that's what I'm going to be doing next. Okay, guys. So I've dug this out. This is now 75 long and 21 blocks wide. So this should be okay. And I think I want to get in my first uh, pod thing for the, uh, the trading pod. So... I'm actually gonna put it down here, I think. Okay, guys, so this design is by Logical Geek Boy. So I'm just gonna build up one of these guys on camera, just so you guys can kind of see what is going on. And I believe that's a sticky piston, it is. So we have this like that, and then we will have the floor back in place. We will eventually make this place look nice, but for right now, this will do like so. We also don't really need that dispenser there. So that's like that. And then we'll do the glass just because if it's there, it's there. It's probably to stop mobs from taking entity damage and stuff like that. So we'll do that. I also do need to get a light source. So there you go. And I guess we'll build up the next layer then. And like so. And like this. This isn't the most interesting thing. So I might cut to when I have a bit more progress done. Because I don't think you guys really care that much. And if you guys really want to see like what it looks like in the end then I guess you can check out his video. Okay guys, so there it is. It is completely done. This is just one module. Obviously there are gonna be a lot of these spanning down the room. You guys should definitely check out Logical Geek Boy. That's who this design is by. He will be linked in the description below the video will. So I definitely recommend you guys check it out. And yeah, I don't have time to finish the rest of this today. So let's go ahead and move on. Okay guys, so we're now over in the shopping district and that's because I want to work on this shop, the bookshop, the not the everything but mending bookshop basically. And uh, this is a shop that Toby built that uh, we're going to be running together because obviously I have the books sell. <laughs> so Toby built the shop and me and him then uh, are going to get together now in like a second to improve the interior of this place. And then we'll stock all the books up and hopefully this will be a profitable business. Okay, so ready for the grand unveil? Here it is. This is the newly improved bookshop and uh, I think it looks a lot better. It also stocks every book. We have at least one of everything, I think. Once I, I, I decided to put the trading hall up once we started building this, because I was like, it's a pain to trade with my villagers in the way they are. I think it's a really cool idea, but I'm going to just change it over to, like, regular villagers, like, things that aren't useful, and move all my guys into a trading hall, so it's just a bit easier to trade with them. This place is looking real, real nice now, and I'm actually really happy with how it looks. It looks really cool and really, really nice. Okay, guys, so I did a little sweep of the shopping district, just check some more profits, and... We've made 11 more diamonds, which is real nice. And for once, it wasn't actually from the wood shop. It was actually from the rocket shop, which I'm going to have to go and restock right now because it is running a little low. Okay, guys, so I'm back over and I have restocked the rocket shop, which is really cool. Also, we have a new member called a Mighty Beard. And I see me a Mighty Beard. Hello there, sir. Also, look at this. This is a Grey Fox's uh map art and this looks really cool it's supposed to be like dwarven themed also guys uh this wheel of challenges has really actually been a hit on the server lots of people have been using it and uh lots of people have been getting interesting challenges it's been really good to see and we've got a few tips we've got some bones some chorus fruit some endy uh, some ender pills endy pills a diamond that's pretty nice and uh, a really good tip by a uh, great fox we'll have to frame that that's really really nice but let's clear this guy out for right now and i want to see if there are any more suggestions there have been some suggestions coming in and i've been adding them in accordingly but i want to see if there are a few more eat rotten flesh for an entire vid that's pretty good build a mountain i like that one as well these are all gonna go into the system i also think i want to try and pull one out for myself just so you know i, I want to get in on some of the fun so i'm going to use my own machine so let's just watch the flashy lights going around Wait for the music to stop, and then this guy will pop up here. So here we go. And Rick roll forge one for an hour. Okay, well, I don't think that one's applicable to me, is it really? Okay, so it seems like someone's actually messed with the machine. 
as uh, all these other things are over here. So um, I don't know whether to keep some of these in. I might keep some of them in for a bit of fun, but I'm going to switch it back over to the original ones. What are we going to get this time? Let's hope I get a better one. Okay, eat rotten flesh for an entire video. Looks like we're eating rotten flesh for the whole of the next video then. Uh, we can't really do throw 500 snowballs at me because, uh, yeah, that's not really possible. So we'll leave that for someone else down here. It's not that I'm not doing it. It's just that I don't think it'll be any fun, me doing it to myself. I think it'd be more fun for someone else to do it to me. And I don't know if I'm breaking the rules, but this is my game, so I can do what I want, really. So, yeah, next video, we are eating rotten flesh for the entire thing. We haven't done some good old messing around with people in a while. That's true. So, uh, we should, we should go play some pranks on Draken. I, I, I fully agree. Where are you? <laughs> I'm going through the portal. I was saying- This is gonna be so hard to coordinate. Okay, I'm in, like, the room thing. I I'm see, over by I the particles. chest. Yeah, okay, I see you. you can, I see you walking. But should we just open, like, all the doors? Oh, yep. hi. Okay, there you let's are. let's open every trap door here. Welcome to an orthoblox dragon! You're not doing a- Oh, he's here! He's here! He's here! Is he here? I think he just- he closed all the doors. He's I right see there. You. Okay, which wise guy left all the creepers into my base <laughs> Right, okay, I'm gonna go hide somewhere. He's inside. I can see him, I can see him. I'm like up on you the top go... floor. Wait, is he still in the storage room? Yeah, he's closing okay. all the trap doors. I've reopened all the doors. <laughs> his reaction. <laughs> I really wanna hear his reaction. I really wish I could. Oh, he's coming up, he's coming up. Okay, I'm going down. <laughs> Okay guys, uh, I hope you have enjoyed this video. It's been a bit of a hectic one There's been lots of stuff going on lots of collabs with mr. Toby Sun 3d and I think it's been pretty fun And uh, if you guys did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like subscribe and hit the notification bell And I guess I will see you guys next time Bye. Bye. Pickle Rick <laughs>